today on Divorce Court. I'm here because there is a really big age difference between me and my boyfriend, and that has been affecting us for a whole seven years of the relationship. Even though we're not married, I think Melissa should act like the mother of my children and not like a single girl. I don't want to go out and party or club, nothing like that, no. I want to go to school, I want to better myself, and I feel he's holding me back. I do love Melissa, and I really want this to work. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Melissa Cibrian and Mr. Arturo Sanchez. The two of you have been together for seven years, and you have three children together. Ms. Cibrian, you want to leave. You want to end this thing. You've been together a long time since you were young. Why don't you tell me what's happened, how you got together, and why we're here? We're here today. We've been together for seven years, but we've been as a couple in a relationship, and I feel like in love for two. He traveled throughout our whole relationship, and just two years ago, he moved back home. It's been a really big transition for me, having him gone all the time and then having him here, and I think that's what messed us up. You think him coming home messed yes. it up? Okay. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. That's cold, isn't it, Mrs. Sanchez? I'm not even, I don't even know you, and it's gonna hurt my heart. Ms. Simbri, why don't you tell me a bit about how this relationship got started? Because you're only 22, and you've been together for a while. Tell me. So we were, I was walking one day home from school, and he pulled over, and I said hi. He said hi. We exchanged numbers. After that, it was just talking on the phone. Um, we went out once, and then after that, I moved in with him. He claims that I stole him. Yeah. Did she steal you, Mr. Yes, Sanchez? She did. Yes, Tell she me did. how she did that. Okay, this is what happened. One day, uh, she spent the night with me, and she didn't got home, so her dad kicked her out. And she told me, hey, my dad kicked me out. You think I could go and, uh, and stay with you? I thought, yeah, why not? One or two nights. Well, Melissa came with two or three bags. <laughs> And now she's been there seven years. Yes. <laughs> she hasn't gone seven, ever since then. Well, Mr. Sanchez, you did like her, though, didn't you? I mean, you were enjoying the whole thing, weren't you? I, I did. I did. I actually did. But I never thought it was going to be this long. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your traveling. She says that you pretty much weren't home for five years. Yes, I... Which is when she liked it. So, um... <laughs> Sure Tell me to... about your job and how often you saw each okay. other in the beginning. I used to install machinery for, for companies, so I used to travel all over the United States. I used to be on the road like for three or four um, weeks, come home like for three to four days. Mm -hmm. So of course she used to love it. She used to get the paycheck every week and not see me that much. And But you're acting like if I was just sitting at home by myself, I had your children. But and... I had to do it to provide I understand. Everything for the family, Melissa. Mm -hmm. That's what she don't get it. I used to travel for her and the kids, okay. not for Thing myself. Is, well, Miss Cyprian, are you upset that he traveled? Because you don't seem to be. <laughs> I am upset that he traveled because I feel that we didn't evolve as a, as a couple. He was out all the time. He would come. I, I feel like he got used to the single life, being by himself, and so did I. I feel like I was a single mom at times because I would have to be pregnant by myself. He would just come back home and get me pregnant. The and then, just, and then just leave again. Yes. Okay. Mr. Sanchez, she said something interesting. She said she didn't think you two evolved as a couple. Do you think that may have happened? And I'm not blaming you, because you got to do what you got to do. If, you're, if your work takes you to makes you travel, you have to travel. But do you feel that you missed some kind of connection and growth together because you weren't together? I feel that is an issue. And that's why she, I quit. She made me quit my job. So, um... Yeah, I feel, I feel it was... You made him quit his job? Yes, I did, because he was growing... The kids were growing up without him. He would come see him for a little while, and as my ch children got older, it got harder for them to see him leave. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what? That's it. Either you, job, or us. That's a huge thing he did. Yes, it is. Uh, were you able to find employment closer to home? I struggle a lot, like, for mm -hmm. a year. We mm -hmm. almost lose our home for that, too. Uh -huh. But now I'm stable. Um, I don't win as much. I think I went real low. I went down a lot. But um, everything You mean for economically, her. or yes. you mean, yeah? At our pay mm -hmm. And uh, just for her. And she's still mad. Mm -hmm. 
you do appreciate what he did. Yes, I do. I do appreciate what he did, and I'm happy he came back. But because that time that he would leave, like I said, he would think he was single, and then I would have my own routines too. So when he came back home, it was hard for us to establish like a routine yeah, together. She never had someone to tell him, oh, I need you to cook, I need you to clean, mm -hmm. I need you to do this, I need you to do that. And now she needs to to do the things that I expect well, she, her to do. She had to be cooking and cleaning because the, she had the kids. They didn't starve to death while you were gone. So she had to have been cooking for somebody. <laughs> my understanding is, my understanding is that you both have trust issues. So Mr. Sanchez, I'm gonna start with you. Do you have trust issues with Miss Cibrian? And, and if so, why? Okay, now I don't, but before, yes. Because mm -hmm. her phone was always locked different numbers will pop out. I used to be like, who's this? Oh, that's a friend from middle school. Oh, that's a friend from this. And they were, and all of them were gay. Oh, don't worry about it, they're gay. Mm -hmm. Well, in my eyes, they were. <laughs> Mr. Britton, now, did you want to respond to that? While he was out traveling, did you form any relationships with other guys because you were lonely? Uh, I don't want to say relationships, but there was some times that I would just text to get out of the boredom. Uh -huh. But it was never like a long thing, like where I would have to go out with them or any, it was never like that. But it didn't start right away. We've been together for seven years. The five years that he traveled, it was just barely a year before he moved back. That's when I think I went all crazy and out mm -hmm. loud. I'll call his phone, he'll be sleeping. Or because of different time zones, because it was a different states, he would um, uh, get like calls and then it's like conversations with his coworkers, stuff like that. Well what kind of conversations would he had with, with his coworkers that you found disturbing? It's just, when they would discuss like the... It was just one night, one night that I went out and she cannot get over it. Well, what happened that night when you went out? I, I went out. <laughs> I went out with my friends and uh, I told her I was gonna go to sleep early because I was gonna wake up early. Mm -hmm. And I think the phone butt dial and she heard all the commotion and... Were well, you out partying at the club? I was out. I was out. He said... <laughs> oh. You see, look, Judge, he said one time, he said, when he was in I Hawaii... Do it. I can be work. I used to work 12 to, to 15 hours a day. Yeah. Were... I needed to get out a little bit. And I was with the kids the whole day, and he was in there. I needed... Maybe. You don't know. I, don't, I didn't knew that. Let's move on to something else. If I go around her cell phone, she wakes up. Oh, oh, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? I'm like... Hey, relax. I'm looking for the phone. Yeah, right. no, it's not because of the phone. It's because my... Are you, are you worried about and anything that like, may oh, be oh, on oh. your phone that he might see? Do you have concerns? My understanding is, now that you two are back living together, and you, you, you've changed jobs, that you guys have less trust issues, and your concern at this juncture is that you say he doesn't let you do anything you want to do. He says you, he's controlling, he's overbearing. Tell me, what's he doing? Okay. I want to go back to school. And every time I say I want to go back to school, I want to work, he pins the kids on me. Who's going to take care of the kids? Because the kids are little. But in every American family, both parents work. That's the only way to make it. H how old are the kids? Five, four, and he's going to be one in September the 30th. The kids are awfully young, and you working at this time probably wouldn't make enough money to pay a sitter. Does he not, at least at this juncture, have a good point about staying home? I feel that I have stayed home enough. He's, he, we, we are stressed all the time financially and more because of the foreclosure we had on our home. Mm -hmm. um, we only own one vehicle. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard for us to get around and do stuff, and I feel that with the preparation that I had before, I met him and while I was with him, the school that I already have can get me a pretty good job, pretty decent job, mm -hmm. and I'll be able to take some stress Later off his shoulder. Later in life, she could yeah. do that. Well, let no, me ask no. you, Ms. Sibrian, do you believe that he doesn't want you to do these things, not just because of the children, but because he's jealous? Um, my, probably because of the trust issue being broken, he doesn't trust me to be out by myself or I don't know. I want my kids to grow up the way I didn't. My mom was always working. She will, she will wake up at five in the morning Get, get home at six in the afternoon, go to sleep at eight. I never had time to spend time with her. So mm -hmm. I want my kids to, to have what I didn't. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm always trying to 
be with her, like give her her side, and because I want this family to work. That's what I want. So you don't believe she ever betrayed her trust. Your whole thing is you want a solid uh, foundation for your family. Yes. So, so she's never done anything that make you not trust her. Well, some, yes, she has, she has. Like for example, um, a couple of nights ago, I used to walk, like I get out, my alarm goes on at three in the morning. So when I wake up, I'm looking for stuff. And uh, if I go around her cell phone, she wakes up. Oh, oh, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? I'm like, hey, relax. I'm looking for my phone. It's not because of the phone. It's because my. Are you are you worried about and anything that like, may oh, be oh, oh, on oh. your phone that he might see? Do you have concerns? No, I now I do not. Before two years ago, I probably did. did yes, but now I don't. I I don't. I came out clean to him and everything. Um, he still calls me a cheater and a liar, which I am not for these past two years. I want to say because, like I said, there was some trust issue before. She confessed of, of dating someone while I was at the road. She did. And supposedly, oh, she, he's just a friend. He's just a friend. Did you date Wait, someone? We used to be friends. And... Did you date someone while he was on the <laughs> right. road? I, I didn't date. It was more of like a keeping me entertained sort of situation. Oh. But not, not. That's why I used to go out in the clubs. So, so I, could I would text. I would text with him and. I would text, I, w I would only text. I never went out because I had the kids and I didn't Guilty. want them to see. I need to, get, <laughs> I need to get you a lawyer. Yes. <laughs> I want more out of my life than just raising my children and being his wife. And she could do that, but later on in life, the kids are little. Now, 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 now Mr. Chantez, and I understand your position. When you say later on in life, how much later do you mean? Maybe when the, my youngest turned 18. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you say things in here with a sense of humor, Mr. Sanchez, which I appreciate. But when you talk about she was dating or seeing somebody else, what happened at the time? Were you angry? Did it fray your relationship? Did you feel betrayed? Did it change your attitude towards her? Yes, it did. It, it betrayed me. I feel, um, I feel bad, because I used to feel like this big, macho guy and... Mm -hmm. I had nothing to worry about because my girl was at home and I was out working. But then I come home and find out she was talking to some guys. Of course, I, I feel bad. Mm -hmm. And that's when I, I, I felt that our relationship was just crumbling down because he would come home from work and it's just be nothing but constant fighting and nagging. And then he'll be like, um, why are you doing this? Or he'll be at it with attitude. And because I was so used to being alone, I'll be with attitude too. It was just so weird to have him there for a week. The adjustment. Yeah. It was the adjustment problem. Yeah, it's hard, yeah. She, and she's a cold-blooded person. Why she, is she cold-blooded? <laughs> she doesn't give no affection. But Sometimes see, I hang on, let him up. finish, let him finish. You say he, she gives no affection. No Explain affection. that to me. For example, if I, I, came, I come uh, from work, I expect a hug, a kiss, baby, how, how this went, how that went. No, Melissa's over there mad with the kids. Or... Now, I want you to just step back just a second. Talk to me about what's happening in your life that makes you so angry all the time. I feel like I'm trapped, like there's no support from him. Like, he, I feel that he is where he wants to be and I am not there yet. And he wants me to live his fairy fantasy and I'm just like on a different level and I feel that's where it is. I feel that the age difference has messed us up a lot. Before, I, was, we, I used to meet him in the middle mm -hmm. and now it's like I'm back to my 22-year-old and he's back to his age. Mm -hmm. I feel like mm -hmm. we are now like on different levels and I think that's what's messing us up. I want more out of my life than just raising my children and being his wife. And she could do that, but later on in life, the kids are little. Now, 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 now Mr. Chanchez, and young. I understand she your position. When you say later on in life, how much later do you mean? Maybe when the, my youngest turned 18. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see what I mean? Right. You see what I mean? <laughs> 17 years. Now, Mr. Sanchez. This is the time, Mr. Sanchez. Don't be young. No, 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 Mr. Don't be young. Now, Mr. Sanchez, I like you, and I'm gonna try to whip a deal between the two of you. <laughs> Mr. Sanchez, I read your papers, and when I did, I thought I was gonna be mad at you, but I'm not. I think you're a decent guy. You're a good guy. You took her in. 
You worked hard when she wanted you to get off that job. You got off that job. You went home, almost lost your house behind that. You're still there. And I applaud you for all of that. And I do think you're probably a little controlling. <laughs> uh, and I want you to see how that hurts you as much as it hurts her. It hurts you when you control her like that because she's angry and frustrated and unhappy. That's why there's no kissing at the door. That's no, why there's no care about your day. That's why there's no loving and romance anymore, because she's done a couple of things. She turned into a woman very quickly, and she didn't get an opportunity, like you said, to go to the prom or to date or to do all of that young stuff. In part, it was a decision that she made. In part, it was a hot spot that she got in because she slept with you and daddy didn't like it. So you have to acknowledge that she is still young, has needs, and she is a person in her independent own right. And the moment that she fulfills her personage, when she becomes the woman that she wants to be and has joys and passions and interests beyond just you and the kids, she'll be a more pleasant woman to be around, more interesting, too, and more loving and more romantic and, and, and more able to add to your life, not simply to be a tool of your life. You with me? <laughs> Ms. Sidwin, let me say this to you. You are young, and you've had to mature early, but I don't think you're quite as mature as you need to be. And I think that you need to take it upon yourself to do things for yourself. You don't have to leave the house to go to school anymore. They got online everything. Um, I would never let any man stop me from being a better person than I am. I would never let any person stop me from being more intelligent, more well-read, more capable than I am. And I think you have the capacity to do that while you're at home. Let me tell you about staying home till she's 18. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and, and, and let me tell you why. When they're all in school, from 8.30 to 3.30, you're home waiting for them. She could have a part-time job. She could go to school during that time. You don't have to imprison them in order for them to be a good mother. I think I was a good mother. I worked. I was, I, I, those little creatures, they saw me all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Enough, Mom. They, you, they get sick of you by 13, 14. They don't want to see you anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But let her grow. <laughs> Tend to her like she's a flower in your garden. You can't just keep turning your back on it. You gotta water it. You gotta have some sunshine on it. You gotta let it breathe. You gotta give it some air. And, and you have to respond like a grown woman, not a frustrated kid. You with me? Yes. Best of luck to both of you. This matters a <laughs>after listening to the judge's advice, I'm going to continue my education regardless if he's susceptible or not. I'm going to try and talk to him. I want to finish what I started when I was younger and I want to finish it right. I think that the, the advice that the judge gave us was pretty good. I'm going to let her go back to school, finish her education. I'm going to let her grow as, as a person. And um, I really believe that after this, uh, our marriage is gonna work very well.